do you want to score up to 160 in your Duolingo English test? Of course you do. So, let me give you 20 words that are going to give you a big push towards 160. Let's get started. Hello and welcome back. If it's your first time on our channel, welcome. Thank you for joining us. I'm Francis from Last Minute English and here we help you to pass your English exams like IELTS and Duolingo and we help you to reach advanced level English. Now today we're looking at the Duolingo English test. We're going to look at 20 high level words that can help to boost your vocabulary score. Now, before we jump into those 20 words, let's take a look at how the DET is scored. So it's scored in four areas. We have literacy, conversation, comprehension, and production, which is also speaking and writing. And each of the four areas gets its own score, and those are put together to give you your overall score, and that's between 10, which is very bad, <laughs> and 160, which is perfect. And when you get your results, you can share them for free with anyone. It could be for uh, applying for university, or applying for a visa, or uh, to get a, a better job. You can share them freely. But of course, for each of those four areas, vocabulary is gonna be super important. So that's why we're looking at vocabulary today. So let's get started by building your vocabulary muscles with these 20 words. Now you might be thinking like only 20? Surely I need to know lots more words. And of course, the more words in English you know, the better. But we've chosen these words very carefully because they're very flexible. So you can use them in many different situations. So the idea is that you can take a normal answer that you would give right now, and you'll be able to add one of these high level words. And that will take that answer and immediately improve its score. So if that sounds like a good plan, then let's jump in with the first word, which means good. So we could say that sounds like a good plan, but if we want to show our vocabulary, we can use the word excellent. That sounds like an excellent plan. Or you could say, I think my English results were excellent. So anytime you have the chance to say something's good, you can upgrade to excellent. But what about the opposite? Something bad. Instead of saying it's bad, we could say it is terrible. Terrible. So for example, instead of saying adding ice cream to your noodles would be a bad idea, we could say adding ice cream to your noodles would be a terrible idea. And we show our strong feeling and improve our vocabulary score. And we can use the word disagree to make something like I don't think so sound more formal. We could say, I have to disagree with you, or I'm afraid I disagree about that point. Then the next two words are when we're making a guess about something. Often it's a guess about a number. We have roughly and approximately. So I've not been counting the words so far, but I think we're, we're roughly six or seven words into our list. So this is a higher level way of saying like, we are about six words, or we are around six words. Roughly or approximately is gonna boost that score. And it's gonna be great as well for those questions where you describe a photo. You could say, there are approximately uh, 15 people in the photo. Or you could say, the man in the photo looks approximately 70 years old. Next, let's look at some words that can help to expand our sentences and connect sentences together in a logical way. That's really gonna be very important for our production score. It's all about speaking and writing. So the first word is additionally additionally and we use this when we want to add some more information for example if you're describing a photo you could say and i can see a red car on the left or you could say additionally 
I can see a red car on the left. It's the same meaning as and, but you've immediately taken your score a little bit higher. And another great word we can use when we're describing a photo, for example, or in different questions, is although. So although allows us to make longer sentences. For example, you could say, although it is raining, the man in the photo isn't carrying an umbrella. Now, one word that many people use is the word but. But, <laughs> I, even I'm using it, but we can upgrade it in our exam and use the word however. For example, you could say, when I was five years old, I really wanted my parents to buy me a, a bike for my birthday. However, they didn't get it for me and I was very sad. Then another great word for making your sentences more complicated and higher level grammar is despite. So imagine we make a sentence like, um, it is raining outside, but the man is still walking. It's okay, but it's not very high level. So instead we could say, despite the bad weather, comma, the man is still walking outside. Despite the bad weather, the man is still walking outside. Additionally, he doesn't have an umbrella with him. So those were some words for making our sentences more interesting. Now let's talk about when things are good or bad, when they have advantages or disadvantages. So a great word we can use is benefits. So if you get a question like, why do people exercise? You could say, exercising is good, <laughs> but that wouldn't be very interesting. A better answer would say, there are many benefits to exercising, including losing weight and feeling happier in your life. But sometimes there aren't many benefits to something. And the opposite of that could be weaknesses or drawbacks. Both of those have the same meaning, weakness, drawback. So for example, you might say the plan is not good. It's okay. Better would be the plan has a number of serious weaknesses or the plan has a number of serious drawbacks. Now, another great way that we can upgrade our vocabulary score is to think about the words that we often use. For example, the word important and choose other words that have the same meaning and that we use in the same way, but they're less common words. So let me give you three for the word important. The first one is significant, significant. So for example, if you're saying the sentence, the DET test results are important for my university application. Instead, you could say the DET results are really significant for my application. Another word with the same meaning is crucial, crucial. So again, you could say, it's crucial for me to get a good score on my DET. And if you want to say something is really, really important, you can say it is essential. For example, if you think that the most important thing for your health is to eat well, to eat healthy food, you could say, eating healthy food is essential for our health. It has a stronger feeling than just important. Important is maybe seven out of 10 or eight out of 10. Essential is 10 out of 10. Another common pair of words that we can upgrade is big and small. Now there are lots and lots of words that mean very big. Uh, one I want to tell you about is vast. So for example, if there is a, a picture in DET of um, some mountains, you could say, oh, there are some big mountains in the background. It's fine. But better would be, there is a vast mountain range in the background. And then if something is very small, you could say, it is very small. <laughs> but better would be to use a word like tiny, or this one that I want to teach you, minuscule, minuscule. And that means really, really small. Then just a couple more words left. The next one is highlight, 
highlight. It's a verb and it means when we put special attention onto something. It also means make it like really big, bright color, like a highlighter pen. But in DET, we could say something like, we're looking at a photo and we could say, first, I'd like to highlight the old man sitting on the left of the picture. And it just means I'd like to talk about that old man. And finally, the word incorporate. So incorporate is a better or higher level way to say include. So if you're looking at a photo or at many of the other questions, you could say, this photo incorporates a number of interesting details. And that's a much more interesting way to say, this photo has lots of stuff. <laughs> so this photo incorporates many interesting details. And what I want you to do is to review these new words, these advanced level words, and try to incorporate them into your next DET attempt. So there we go. 20, more or less, I think it's approximately 20, roughly 20 words that you can use in your next DET to try to boost your vocabulary score. And that's gonna help across all four areas of the Duolingo English Test scoring system. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe. Thank you very much for watching. Good luck in your Duolingo English test, and I'll see you next time.